All right. This one gives us a center at the origin, 0, 0, with a radius of 4 times the square root of 7. All right. Let's go ahead and do this one then. So let's go ahead and set this up. We can have an x minus an h value squared plus y minus the k value squared will equal our radius. Let's look at the radius right now. We're going to square this. Now using the exponent rules, we're, we're going to have to square the 4 and the square root of 7. We'll have to square both of these. So it's really uh, 16 times 7, which would be uh, 70, 112. What I got. All right, man. That's uh, let's just replace. Uh, this is our h and k value from the center. Both of those were zero. That's nice because now we can just replace this with uh, well, that would just be x squared plus y squared, and this will all equal one twelve. There we go. So hopefully, hopefully this has kind of helped us see how we would graph a form like this, right? Because we, we can expect to see something like this on the homework. Well, if it was just x squared plus y squared equals 112, well, since we know it's a x squared like this, I mean, it, you could just say, well, x plus what squared? Well, x plus 0. That doesn't change the value of that x at all. And same with the y y plus what squared? Well, that'd be y plus 0. You can make it minus 0 if it really makes a difference for you. Equals the 112. And in that case, for graphing, you'd want to square root the 112, which would have given you this 4 times the square root of 7. Um, that should be about 8 point some garbage. Maybe 8.5, 6-ish. In any case, I don't know what that is. <laughs> um, this, this, notice how we just changed this x and the y into the x plus 0 and the y plus 0. I, I kind of have a feeling I should change this to minus. So make those minuses. It's the same thing whether we put plus or minus 0, right? Well, that gave us an h value and a k value, and we would have been able to find the radius. And that would allow us to graph that.